Hi, hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing, Juan Diego? I'm, I'm great, teacher. Okay. You? I'm fine too. Thank you very much for asking. I feel great tonight. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, one second, because my camera is again playing at me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now. Yay. Better, right? No. Nope. That's better. Yeah. No. No. Nope. I can hear it. Is. I can see you very well. Okay, the thing was the resolution, right? It was not uh, appropriate. Oh. Hello, everyone. Yes, Juan Diego, that was the problem. And I have this problem because I have two cameras, the one in the laptop and the oh, one in yeah. uh, the external, external one. Yes, and external is the best one. Yeah, because the laptop yes. one, mm -mm. yeah. Yes, it's because it's BGA. Mm, yeah, it is. Let me, no, let me tell you it this one the laptop, the laptop actually it says it is an hd okay it says it it is really? an hd camera but maybe it's something in the configuration that i really don't get hey. it yet uh <laughs> imagine every day every day i'm looking for configure uh the configure the um, the video in the laptop but no, I, I no, I don't know why. Maybe it's uh something in the drivers, and when I try to download the drivers uh, to set them up, uh, it says that maybe the antivirus is uh, it's um oh yeah, it's blow, stopping. Blow. Yes. Oh, just just uh, stop the window update in the oh. in the setting. Does this, does, does this activate it when you try to install the driver? Okay, like the firewall, right? Yes, yes. You okay. can off. You how to say? Tiene que apagarlo. Okay, turn off. Yes, turn off. Yes. Okay. And if or you, disactivate. Disactivate, disactivate because yes. yeah, we are talking about the firewall, right? Okay, yeah, yes. disactivate. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna try doing that. Maybe it works because both are very uh, good cameras. And yeah. the thing is that I have an angle right direct in front of me and I have the other that I cannot, I cannot direct it on me. So that is yeah. my, I, I, you know. I can, I can, uh, you configure two cameras at the same time to intercambiate it. Can you? That is the word. Yes. Can you do yes, it? You can. Yes. Yes. Oh, Why? okay. I, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet because yes, of that the, that big problem of configuration, right? Yeah. But maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe soon. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Coming soon, okay. right? <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Like Netflix. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Cabal. Okay, everyone, welcome to your class. Today we have a very interesting class. Thing is that um, the games and all everything that we do in this case, uh, they will have to wait until we get the grammar. Okay, aunque sea un poco aburrida la gramática, verdad? Pero le vamos a entrar con toda la gramática. Why? Uh, this is because this is because we are trying to get or to learn two tenses. Estamos tratando de aprender ya a unir o a hacer un mix, verdad, entre dos tiempos verbales. Ustedes saben que los verbos, pues, obviamente los conjugamos en diferentes tiempos y expresan una acción, ya sea en el presente, en el pasado, en el futuro, ¿verdad? Y, pues, en tiempos compuestos, ¿verdad? La cuestión acá es que en este momento estamos tratando, nuestro objetivo principal del módulo 2 es aprender a describir las actividades que hacemos, ¿ok? 
en nuestro trabajo y pues lo aplicamos ya a nuestras casas, ¿verdad? A nuestra vida diaria, to our everyday life, right? And usually people uh, don't talk in only one tense, ¿verdad? Usualmente la gente, no, nosotros pues no, no hablamos en, solo en un tiempo verbal, ¿verdad? Sino que lo mezclamos, decimos Se cosas mezcla. que ya pasaron, cosas que ya van a pasar, si no, no fuera comunicación, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, eh, ayer empezamos a ver the present continuous, el presente continuo, and we said it has two usages, ¿ok? Dos usos. El primero, el primer uso, decíamos que es para las cosas que están pasando en el momento que yo estoy hablando. For example, ¿ok? I am teaching now, ¿ok? I am doing it. So I am in the process of doing this activity, right? Pero también yo puedo decir algo que voy a hacer eh, un poquito más tarde de ahora, ¿verdad? Que es un futuro cercano. Para eso también se usa el presente continuo. Entonces yo podría decir, I am having dinner after the class, ¿ok? No quiere decir que me la estoy comiendo ahorita, sino que me la voy a comer después de la clase, ¿ok? Y esos son los dos usos que estamos ahorita tratando y que estamos aprendiendo, ¿ok? Bien, ya que estamos, ya que aterrizamos en lo que estamos aprendiendo, voy a tomar la asistencia. I will take the attendance. Please turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Remember that answer for requirement is that you to turn on your camera and to say present when you hear your name when we take the attendance. And they score the attendance by the min minutes you are connected, okay? If you don't connect the 120 minutes, then it goes, it decreases, right? it decreases the percentage of attendance. And I don't want you to lose those points, okay? So let's start, let's start. Alba Yanet Lopez Avalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present, teacher. Okay, good. And... Delmi Isabel de la Salguero. Present teacher. Okay. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Eh, Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present teacher. Okay. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. No Linda yet. I see some chats here, some text messages. Was it Linda? No, it was David. Okay, thank you, David. Good. Okay, Linda's not here yet. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Okay, Luz. Um, Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Okay. Okay, people. Then welcome again to your class number 12. This is the second class of unit three. 
and we are studying the present continuous. But tonight, we are going to study the present continuous versus the, um, versus the present or the simple present, okay? So let me go there. I'm going to get here the first slide because we need to check some grammar, okay? A ver, ¿quién me quiere comentar de la clase de ayer? Who wants to give your comments about yesterday's class? I'm sorry, but I had to disactivate your audios because of the interference of, of sounds, right? Uh, so we were asked, I was asking to you, what do you remember from last class? What do you remember? Let's see. We're talking about what, when? What and How? when? How, okay. How? Okay, those were questions that we learned in unit one and unit two, excellent. And we were uh, practicing them because they are basic questions, right? For example, may I ask you, for example, let's see, ah, Juan Diego is speaking right now. So Juan Diego, what is your email address? Oh, he said my real address? No, if, if you want, you can just, um, Make, make it up, invent, make it up. Um, um, my address is on Boulevard. Um, no, no address, no, no um, physical address or place oh, address, email address. What's email your address. email uh, address? Yes. Oh, it's um, Diego Arroba Hotmail. Okay, oops. Sorry. Uh -huh. Diego at Arroba. Oh, you again the same thing. Oh, I'm in the English keyboard. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm going to okay. change this configuration and let me go back here. Uh, by the way, están viendo en la pantalla un cuadrito, se mira un cuadrito yes. negro encima de la, del slide. Solo quiero saber yes. si eso sucede. Yes, I can see. Okay, okay. You, can, yes. you can use alt GR in number two. Um, nope, it doesn't. It doesn't give me that. The problem that I have here and well, at this moment is that my at is pressing the alt, alt GR, right, alt grade, and, alt and the other is Q, okay, alt, alt GR and the Q key. So it's kind of, okay, I wasn't, oh, or, it worked, right? Desapareció? Or you can use alt 64. Uh, yes, but, uh, Pero en Don't mi teclado, in my keyboard. No, no, yeah. in my keyboard, what I use is al grado, right? Oh, and Q, yeah. and letter Q. So yeah, it's oh, easier. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Diego at hotmail.com. Great. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what is your email address, Pablo? Gemma Gana Molina. Again, P. Megana Molina. Molina, uh huh. At. Arroba, okay, you've got to say. Gmail. At. Say at. At. Uh huh. Set at gmail.com. 
Ok. Gmail. Punto se dice dot. Ok. Dot com. Correct. Ok. okay. So, um, let's see. Um, Marco, what is your email address? Uh, my email address is adonaibilleda at gmail.com. Okay. Great. Okay, let's see. Delmi, what is your email address? It's not necessary that you give me your real one. You can give me a fake one, okay? Um, my email address is delmideras at gmail.com. Okay. Tell me Deras, right? Uh, huh? At gmail.com. Okay. Patricia, what is your email address? My email address is Patricia Dag Navarro at, uh, at the at Lopez that call that is B. Okay. Lopez that. Okay. That, you... that call that okay. is B. Thank you very much. Okay, now, Cecia, what is your email address? My email address is B I C D J E M. Mm -hmm. At hotmail.com. Okay, great, great. Okay, people, when we answer this question, what's your email address? We answer it's, y decimos la dirección, okay? It's Diego at hotmail.com. It's Pimagana Molina at gmail.com. It's Adonai Villeda at gmail.com, okay? Siempre acordémonos de ponerle it's. Cuando nos preguntan, what is your email address? Okay. So after this little feedback about one of the questions we studied yesterday, let me introduce that we are going to talk about the simple present and in a contrast uh, with present continuous. If you see people here, maybe they are doing or they are uh, planning their activities, right? Or maybe they are talking what they are doing at that moment, we don't know, but they are talking. And to talk with people, to talk to people, we need to contrast, we need to mix all the tenses, to tell stories, to uh, ex explain what do we do, to explain or give instructions. So we use simple present and we use present continuous in our works. Okay. After that, we want to know what is the main goal for tonight, okay? Our main goal for tonight is, one second, it's going to show up. Here it is, okay? Participants will be able to contrast present continuous and present simple. A ver. Uh, ¿Cuál es entonces el objetivo de la clase de hoy? Can someone read the class objective? <coughs> Participants will be able to contrast present continuous and present simple. Ok, good. ¿Para qué estábamos usando el presente simple? A ver... ¿Qué decíamos que expresa el presente simple? Uh, 
¿Cuándo usamos el presente simple? When do we use the simple present? Ya lo vamos a recordar, okay? So in our agenda, first of all, we have a little warm up with uh, questions and answers, a little feedback, right? We started already with what's your email, email address. So now we are going to have a game time. Just to remember, just to remember actions or activities using the present continuous, okay? Vamos a hacer un jueguito. And then after the game, we are going to talk about future events. And the question that we want to answer this evening is, what are some events you have scheduled for this and next week, okay? What are some events you have scheduled for this and next week? Then at the end of the class, at the end of the class, we are going to use all that information to send an email, to write an email describing the activities you have scheduled, okay? And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is para la protagonista del día de hoy, Luz Veronica Trujillo, okay? So Luz Veronica, it's your turn. Are you going to stay? Okay. Okay, great, great. So the first interesting point is a game time. Do you like games? Do you like games? Yes. Okay, yes. We're, we're going to play a little. Okay, we're going to play a little. So I'm going to send this link through the uh, Zoom chat, okay? It's a memory game. This memory game, it's obviously of cards. You have to turn, click on the card and it turns, okay? And when it turns, you read the action and you have to match it with the picture, okay? With the correct picture. ¿Ya han jugado memory game? ¿Algún con sus hijos? ¿Han jugado de tarjetas memory? Yes. Okay, that's what we are going to do now. You have to match the activity with the picture. Okay, so I'm sending now the link. Here we go. There it is. So click on the link and start playing. And I want to see you, okay? We are not going to share the screen at this moment. So please do it in this moment.
I do it, teacher. Okay, and uh, can you tell me your score? How long did it take? ¿Cuántas cartas volteó? Okay, good. David, did you like the clubs? ¿Le gustaron los aplausos at the end? I don't listen. But... Oh, you're not listening to it. Es que cuando termina le hace yay. <laughs> Okay, who else finished? Nestor, did you finish? How's it going, Grecia? On the capture picture of the top. Okay, okay, let me take it out. Uh, sorry, teacher. Okay, good. You have a very good memory, David. Excellent. Yes, I like this game. Okay, great, okay. great. Let's see, Nestor, we are playing. So link on the click and the chat and let's play memory game. How's it going, Cecia? Don't teacher. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Don't teacher. Excellent. Aha, finish, great. teacher. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what do you think, guys? Those who finished already. How's it going, Alba? Did you finish? Mayra? Ok, great, Alba. Ahí pueden compartir el, el, su score. Ya terminé, pero no sé cómo compartirlo. Solamente dé la screenshot y lo manda la foto en, 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 um, en WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Creo que no. No, no me deja. Ok. Es okay. que es por medio del celular. Yo creo que por eso no puedo. Uh, just, just take the, the screenshot. No sé dónde. Porque sí la capturé, pero no sé dónde mandar. 
Okay, then you, you may go to the WhatsApp group. Good. Me tengo que salir. Oh, okay. Sí, me tengo que salir, no sé si. Good, Alba. Excellent. Excellent. How many? Um, en este caso sería cuántas vueltas. Yeah. How many times did you turn the cards? Creo que sí, sería. Okay. Creo que sí la logré mandar. Let me see. Oh, yes, Mayrita. There it is. Good. 4.8 seconds is your average. And okay, great. 2.5 turns for card. Good. Okay, guys, do you remember? Uh, let's see, Luz, did you finish? Marco? Yes, teacher, finish. Okay, did everybody finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Diego, Pablo? Yes, teacher, I... I okay. Yes, teacher, finish. I Okay, do you mind um, if you go to the reactions down in the in the menu buttons? Go to the reactions, please, and uh, do this, okay? Yeah, there's like, um, like a party, like a party, to show me that you finished, okay? To show me that you finished. I need to know who finished and who doesn't, who didn't. David. Patricia, did you finish? Yes. Okay, Grecia, did you finish? Yes. Okay, great. Daisy, uh, I don't know if Daisy is right now. Uh, ready, she was not in the... I did the picture, but I didn't take the screenshot. Okay, but did you finish? Good. Okay, guys, just let me ask you something. Um, what did you notice? What did you notice? When we write the ING verb form, there are some verbs that have a, um, a tricky, a tricky writing, okay? Cuando vemos escritos los verbos de la forma ing, que sería un gerund, y que es lo que utilizamos para el presente continuo, hay verbos que tienen una escritura así como, eh, que no se sabe cómo la vamos a escribir, ¿verdad? Porque unos aumentan la letra final, ¿verdad? Y otros no. Eh, por ejemplo, getting, ¿verdad? Eh, aumenta la letra T, ¿ok? Hace doblemente o la duplica la última letra. Hay otros que eh, solo agregamos el ing, ¿verdad? Hay otros que le quitamos la letra E que va en el final y le agregamos ing. Ok, en el camino lo vamos a ir viendo. Ok, ¿cuál es cada uno? Ahora, para comenzar, after this warm up, did you like the game? ¿Les gustó el juego? Did you like the game? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Ok, yes, teacher. good. So, now we're going to start with uh, commenting. Yo les envié un video, les envié un video por ahí en el WhatsApp. Um, acerca de where is everybody. Este video está sugerido en el manual, en la primera página, ¿verdad? De la unidad 3 está ese link. Yo se los envié para que nos ubicáramos un poco de cómo hacemos la mezcla de los tiempos verbales. The present continuous and the simple present. Ok. So, I sent it. Y quisiera que, permítanme, 
Les envié ese link. ¿Todos lo tienen a, a la mano? Para que lo presionen ahí. Está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Voy a intentar pasárselos por acá. Okay, it's almost a minute. So, en este momento me gustaría que todos escuchen esa conversación de ese video. Okay? I can see the video. Can you? No, it's in WhatsApp. Yes, I sent it through WhatsApp today in the morning. Ahorita se los vuelvo a pasar por el WhatsApp. Licenciada, es, eh, eh, no, no lo escuchan. Si yo lo escucho, eh, ustedes lo escuchan. No se interfiere. No, porque no está compartiendo el sonido. No hay problema. Ah, sí que se activa. Es un video, ¿verdad? Estaba viendo. Yes, it is. It is a video. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher, y el chat de acá no lo puede compartir. Ah, permítame. Tengo que irme al manual. To get it. Oh, it where is everyone? Yes. Okay, I, I can. Okay. Okay, one more moment. Okay, I sent it through the chat here in Zoom for those who couldn't go to the WhatsApp at the same time. Your brother and sister. Uh, my brother is upstairs. Uh, please, everyone, uh, watch the video, but please turn on your mics.
Okay, people. So let's go to the quiz. Everybody, let's go to the quiz and answer the questions. It says, what is mom doing? What is mom doing? She's shopping. Okay, then click on shopping. Good. Then it says, what is dad doing? What is dad doing? Golfing? Next one, it says, what is his brother probably doing? Golfing. His brother? What is his brother probably doing? Probably? Playing soccer. Uh, brother, his brother. Oh. Mm -hmm. Playing video games. Okay, then click on playing video games. And then what is his sister doing? What is his sister doing? What is his sister doing? She's playing soccer. Okay, yeah. She's playing soccer at school, right? Okay, they got a, a match. Okay, now check your answers. And also please, if you want to send the screenshot, you can do it through the WhatsApp group, okay? And we're going to start now with our um, grammar class, okay? About the present continuous first. So let me share here just to remember what the manual says about when do we use um, the present continuous. So everybody please hear now, your eyes on the screen, please. Everybody, your eyes on the screen. And it says, we use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. We use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. What is the structure of a sentence um, in present continuous? We obviously we add a subject because we are talking about someone or something or an animal and we add the verb be, the verb be. It's important. If it doesn't have the verb be and the main verb in ing perform, it's not present continuous. Okay, so remember subject, verb be, main verb in gerund form, plus the complement, plus the complement. Okay, now if we are talking about the verb be, do you remember, do you remember what are the forms of be? What are the forms of be? I, I, um, uh-huh, you are excellent. He, is okay. She is. is correct. Next one is it is correct. And then for we are excellent. And they they are. are okay then it says that we need a subject here we have subjects the pronouns are subjects and the verb be these are the form of be for each pronoun and then the main verb 
let's say a verb from those who learned in the, de los que aprendimos ahorita, ok, tanto en el juego como en el video, ok, a ver, díganme, I am, una de las secciones que aprendieron en el juego o en el video, ok, veamos. I am painting. I am painting, good. Mm -hmm. You are? Washing. Painting. I'm sorry? Washing. Washing, okay. Uh -huh. He is? Sleeping. Sleeping, okay. Shopping. Okay, great. Shopping, uh-huh. It is uh -huh. For example, the sun is shining. Great shining. There we are. I'm sorry, it's only one and I think, right? We are watching cinema. Watching uh vamos a decir a movie, okay? Watching movie. a movie. Uh-huh. They are Pintura, eh, fotografía, stuff. pero no sé exactamente cómo se dice. Ok, help everyone. Tomar fotografía, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say Take tomar fotografía? Ok, yes. Taking a picture. Good. Mayra, look. They are taking a picture. You see? Entonces, ahora ya tenemos... Oraciones armadas de acuerdo a esta estructura, ¿verdad? Bien, vamos a irnos entonces a realizar estos, estos pequeños ejercicios. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacerlos juntos. And the first part, it says, add the to be verb. Al mismo tiempo que vamos agregando el to be verb, Veamos cómo se escriben. Miren. Veamos cómo se escriben los verbos con ing. Ok. Vamos a ver. The number one. What is the to be verb over there? I am. Ajá. Um. Uh -huh. Por favor, eh, recuerden de cuidar su audio y ábranlo cuando vamos a participar, ¿ok? Y cuando dejemos de participar, lo quitamos para no interferir, ¿ok? Ok, number two. She, mm -hmm, sitting right next to him. She has. Acuérdense, verbo to be, verb to be. She is. Ok, she is. Y miren cómo se escribe sitting with a double T, ¿ok? Con una doble T. ¿Qué es lo que sucede con este tipo de verbos? Este tipo de verbos, <coughs> la, perdón, la regla acá es que solo tiene una sílaba, ¿ok? Y hay una vocal antes de la última consonante. Entonces doblamos o eh, duplicamos la consonante, ¿ok? Esa es la regla acá. She is sitting, we could say sitting, right next to him. Ok, number three. Our class. Uh, ok, this is very interesting, right? Because our class It means the whole group, everybody, like a plural or like a singular. What do you think? Like nuestra clase. Okay, then it is. Uh -huh. 
Is it plural. plural or is it singular? It's plural. A ver, en español, ¿cómo decimos nosotros? A ver, ¿cómo lo diríamos nosotros en español? Para que nos ubiquemos un poquito. Nuestra clase. Ajá, ¿nuestra clase qué? Está haciendo... Ajá, you said something. Está. It means, no dice están, right? Oh, yes. Is it correct? Got it? Okay. So we take it as singular in this case. For example, our class is, okay? Our class is doing a written oh, okay. evaluation. Okay, just because remember and let's compare. Don't me. can use to, to plural. Well, it's not that you can't. It depends on the context. It depends on the context. La forma En este caso, como team, for example, or these collective nouns, uh, like people, like uh, people is plural, okay? Um, you have to think about a unit, right? A unit of something. For example, if we say the army, no digo army are, Ok, digo, army is doing. Aunque sean todas las personas en el ejército, todos los soldados, solo es el ejército. Ok. It's only one, right? Un co equipo completo. So it's the same thing here. Like a collective <coughs> noun, and we take it as one, as unit. Ok. Is it ok? Ok, it's ok. okay. Number four. Number four. My assistant is e taking. Uh -huh. Are taking? Uh, hey guys, please uh, take care taking? of your audios. Yes. Check your audios and uh, one second, I will do that. I'm sorry. Okay. Por favor, le voy a suplicar a todos que chequen, estén al cuidado de su audio para que no haya interferencia para sus demás compañeros. Porque pues estamos haciendo un ejercicio en el que estamos usando nuestro cerebro y obviamente si hay una presión por allá, nuestro, nuestro cerebro también se atrofia, ¿verdad? Porque queremos descifrar qué es lo que sucede allá en el fondo. En el background, we want to understand what's happening. Entonces, por favor, chicos, eh, les pido que chequeemos nuestro audio. Cuando participamos, lo abrimos. Cuando no estamos participando, lo cerramos, okay? So, number four. We said, my assistant, is it one person or more people? One person. One person. Okay, one person. it could be she or he, right? Yes, he so it she. is. Correct. Okay, my assistant could be a woman or it could be a man. So, yes, yes. it is is. Okay, my assistant is taking care of everything. Okay, next one, number five, the police. Aha, another difficult noun. Okay, the police. Could be our investigating the crime. Okay. Why? Can you explain why are and not is? Uh, because uh, when someone it say the police, we can I uh, I think that is a group of of a police. Okay, so because, a ver, uh huh. No, it's wrong. Okay, tell me one day. Is for me is okay. Why? Is investigating the crime. La policía 
está investigando el crimen. But the use are es como la policía están investigando. Correct. So it is is right is investigating. Okay. Aquí no, el, el, eh, se entiende que es el cuerpo de policía, right? Se entiende que es el cuerpo de policía, no es un policía, right? So, the right. police is investigating the crime. Okay, great. Now, okay. number six. The dentist. Is mending my tooth. Okay. What mm -hmm. means mending, teacher? Sorry. Mending, arranging, or repairing your tooth. Fixing. Okay. Fixing. Fixing. Yeah. Uh huh. Number seven. We are. Excellent. We are what? Trying to answer. Good, we are trying to answer correctly. Good, number eight. Yes. yes. Okay, because it's only one manager, right? One. Okay, so it could be a he or a she. So we say it, it's a third person okay now let's write the correct verb ing form okay so let's read number one aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es poner el verbo en su forma correcta ya vimos dos cosas los que terminan en e les quitamos la e y ponemos ing los que terminan en la letra y se deja la letra y y se le pone ing Ahora hemos aprendido que los verbos que tienen una sola sílaba y que terminan con una consonante eh, antecedida de vocal, entonces se le dobla o se duplica la consonante. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Veamos. Let's look at number one. The secretaries are... Making. Mm -hmm. Making. Ok. Making, you see? Making, quitamos la letra E y le ponemos ING, okay? We drop letter E and add ING, making. Plans to celebrate their day, okay? Number two. Bruno is studying for the, the exam. Okay, can you please spell studying for me, please? S U D A E S. Okay, you say this A E S. That's what you said. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm, okay. I'm wrong. No, no problem. Let's do it back. Okay. S T U D A N G. Uh, you are saying this A N G. I. Sorry. I. Okay, let's see. I. I'm, I'm confused. And N, I'm sorry. And G. That's what G. you said, right? Pero yes. a este no le quitamos the Y, okay? We don't take it up. We don't um, eliminate oh, letter yes. Y. I okay? confused with, with the E. Yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. Sorry. We don't have to confuse the simple present with the rules of ING verb form, okay? Number three. Marcella is pudding. Pudding, uh huh. Read the complete sentence. Oh, Marcella is pudding my chair for the trainees. Trainees. 
trainees means the people in training, okay? The trainees. Okay. Can you please, guys, spell pudding for me? Pudding. P E U T T double T. Okay. What else? I N G. Excellent. Marcella is putting more chairs for the trainees. Okay. Number four. Attendant. Francisco is attending the meeting next Friday. Okay. Here we just write attending just like that, okay? Attending. Here we don't have to do any change, right? Just add ing, okay? Attending. Now, number five. Connecting. Edward is connecting. Okay. Right. Here we don't have to do any change either, okay? Connecting, good. Next one, number six. Visiting. Okay, can you read the complete sentence, please, Pablo? Visiting. The complete sentence, please. Can you read it? Number six. Uh, Marielos and Danilo are visiting the new clients. Clients. Client. Clients. Okay. Uh huh. So we write visiting just as it is. We add ing only. Okay. Visiting. Okay. And number seven. Number seven. Amy is turning on all the office appliances. Okay. Turn. Uh huh. Do we have to add double N over there? Do we? Or don't yes. we? For me, it is. Okay, this is what I want you to do. Okay, cuando nosotros en el presente simple decimos que los verbos que llevan solo una sílaba le vamos a doblar la letra n oh, perdón la, la letra del final ya yeah. eh, perdón en el presente continuo tenemos que ver si antes de la última consonante es vocal o es consonante si es consonante no aplica right no aplica. Okay, let me check and show you this. Okay, guys, are we okay with that? Or do you have any question about this? No, teacher, I don't have any question. Okay, thank you, Juan Diego. Now, anyone else? Do you have any question about this? Okay, if you have no questions at this moment, I'm going to take the attendance for the second time. And after that, we are going to practice a conversation in our manuals, okay? Just let me go to the attendance list. Okay, here we go. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Perez Cideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. David, are you still there? 
Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Remember, please, to turn on your cameras and say present when, I, when you hear your names. Daisy Carolina Sanchez present. Nieto. Present. Okay. Okay, okay, David. Present. Delmi? Daisy, okay. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Uh, Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, I see Grecia did it by a text message, right? Okay. And Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Linda, are you there? Okay. Me costó entrar, no tengo cámara. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Are you there, Luz? Luz, Verónica, okay. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Mayra, we could, okay, but your audio. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ok. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Now we are going to our manuals. Sorry, teacher. Uh, my internet is crashing, so sometimes I can hear you and I have problem with audio. Okay. Uh, Nestor, it's not the audio. You know what happened? that I am disactivating your audio because you are having some background, okay? So when you don't turn your mic off, then I do it from here. That is why you're feeling that you don't have the audio activated. Pero es porque hace interferencia. Entonces yo le estoy cerrando constantemente a los que están dejando abierto su audio. Ok, pero sí. necesito que por favor lo hagan por ustedes mismos. Ok, controlen su audio ustedes para que no distraigamos a los demás. Estamos en una actividad de pensar y cuando estamos pensando y hay una interrupción, ¡pum! se nos desaparece la idea, perdemos el hilo y tratamos de, de ver qué es lo que pasa por otro lado. Así que por favor, controlemos eso. Pero con eso no estoy diciendo que no participen, al contrario. I need you to participate, okay? Bien, let's continue with the uh, manuals. Let, please go to page 31, I think it is, yes. <clears throat> yeah, yes, it is page 31, page 31. There we have a little conversation, a short conversation between Ryan and Raul. Okay. Ryan and Raul. Let's see. Eso es bien bonito que digamos nuestro nombre con nuestro acento de, de español. Me gusta a mí decir. For example, when a native English speaker tells me, what's your name? Uh, my name is Carmen. And, and they say, uh, excuse me, what's your name again? And then I say, Carmen, because I love to do that. Because se quedan como perdidos de que cómo se llama uno por el acento de nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando ya no entienden, yo les digo, Carmen. Oh, your name is Carmen. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice to see that. <laughs> Okay, continue, guys. So, Ryan and Raul are talking. Yeah. And they're talking about some activities. They are, well, 
they have in their works, workplaces, right? So please listen to the conversation and then you are going to read it and then you are going to ask questions if you have about the vocabulary, okay? Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Now I'm going to read it slow, slowly or slower, okay? Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. Uh, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay? I will give you 30 seconds. Please read the conversation. Everybody reading the conversation, I want to, your, to see your lips moving. Que se vean sus labios moviéndose, okay? Please read the conversation. Okay, people, now, do you have any question? Is there any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? No teacher. Okay, good. What I want you to notice here, I need you to notice the questions and the way to answer that, okay? For example, the first question, it says, what are you doing? But look at the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the time expression this Ryan is using in his question. He says, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Okay. Please. Yes, in this very moment, right? Okay, people. Now, what I want you to do is to activate your audio and repeat after me. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? 
right now. Again. What are you doing right now? Okay. What is or what are you doing right now? Again, what are you doing right now? Are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Okay. Now let me tell you that this is a very common question. Everywhere, every time we are asking to someone, asking someone, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Okay, esta es una pregunta tan común y así como está, aprendámosla y empecemos a utilizarla para preguntarle a alguien, hey, ¿qué estás haciendo vos? Okay, <laughs> what are you doing right now? Okay, teacher. <laughs> Okay, so everybody, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Excellent. What Excellent. are you doing right now? Very good. What about the others, Maida? Say that question, please. What are you do doing right now? Okay. Porque en español es bien fácil, le decimos a la gente, hey, ¿qué estás haciendo? Okay. ¿Y qué estás haciendo? Entonces, utilizamos esto constantemente. Just as, as in Spanish, we do it in English. What are you doing right now? Or, what are you doing? What are you doing? Aquí no confundamos la otra frase. Miren, yo quiero eh, comentarles algo muy importante. Últimamente, en las redes sociales, ustedes van a encontrar, pero es que una infinidad de material de gente diciendo, no digas tal cosa, no digas así en, en inglés, no sigas diciendo thank you. Uf. O sea, miren, está bien que ellos lo digan para alguien que ya maneja el básico, ¿verdad? Pero para nosotros que estamos aprendiendo la base tanto gramatical como del speaking, ¿verdad?, es como un niño. A un niño le vamos a enseñar la forma correcta primero, ¿verdad? Y las mamás siempre estamos corrigiendo. Así no se dice, hable bien, ¿ok? Entonces, tenemos que hacerlo como eh, gramaticalmente se hace, como decir by the book, ¿ok? Así, como robótico al principio. Poco a poco, con el uso... Con el uso, ustedes ya le pueden ir haciendo caso a esos videos que aparecen. Ya no digas, eh, ¿cómo estás? How are you? Okay. Eh, le dicen, diga, how are you doing? Okay. O, how do you do? Y empiezan a decirle frases coloquiales, ¿verdad? Que si bien es cierto, es importante porque nos queremos oír fluidos y buena onda en inglés. Pero es necesario que sepamos la base. ¿De dónde proviene ese how are you doing? ¿O de dónde proviene ese how do you do? ¿Ok? Bien. Partiendo de este comentario. ¿Ok? Esta pregunta. Cuando ya se dice rápido. O cuando ustedes oyen que, por ejemplo, alguien ni se le entendió qué dijo. Pero le preguntó, what are you doing? Unen. They link these words. ¿Ok? They link the words and, and, the, and they don't say, what are you doing? They say, what are you doing? What are what you doing? Do you do? Okay. What are you doing? What are, what, is, what are you doing? Y no dicen you, okay. Pero no nos vamos a ir a querer hacer lo coloquial antes de haberlo aprendido así. Así que todos ahorita abrimos bien la boca y pronunciamos tal como lo leemos. What are you doing right now? Okay. What, what are you are doing, you doing right, right now? now? Right now. Okay. What are you doing right now? Great. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Okay. Y me detuve bastante en esta pregunta porque es sumamente 
común. Okay. Bien, after that, how do we answer this question? How do we answer this question? ¿Cómo la respondemos esa pregunta? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que responder? The actions, the activities, right? The activities that I am doing in that moment. Okay, so let's see the answer of Raul. It's, he says, Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, I am planning a video conference. Esta es la respuesta, right? For example, if I ask Nestor, what are you doing right now? Uh, right now I'm uh, studying English with you and also I'm checking the social network. So, but I had to to do. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, what okay. are you doing right now, Cecia? I'm studying English. I am. I am studying English. Excellent. What are you doing right now, Patricia? Actually, I am studying English. Excellent, and you used actually. Actually means in fact, right? In fact, I'm having English classes, right? Or I am studying English. Excellent. What are you doing right now, Luz Veronica? Luz Veronica? And she didn't answer also to the attendance. Okay, let's see. Uh, what are you doing right now, Mayra? I am a student class in English. Okay, very good, Mayra. And the best thing to say that is, I am studying English. Okay, I am studying English. Mayra? I am studying English. Excellent. Uh, studying. At the studying. End, mm, yes. Studying. studying. Yes. Studying English. Excellent, Mayra. So let's hear David. What are you doing right now? David? Roxana, what are you doing right now? I am studying class English. Okay, I am studying. Uh -huh. I am studying I am class stu English. Okay, entonces sería an English class. Okay, an English class. I am studying an English class. I am studying an English class. Great. Okay, guys. So, Juan Diego, what are you doing right now? I'm studying with my teacher. Great. Great. So, you see, we use ING verb form to answer, and we are saying the thing that is happening right now. But now, let's see. Let's see, it says um, the next question. What is our team doing right now? What is our team doing right now? A ver si todos se acuerdan lo que dijeron sus compañeros, okay? A ver si se acuerdan qué dijeron sus compañeros que están haciendo. Okay, voy a empezar. Patricia, what is Nestor doing? Uh, Nestor is, is Nestor is studying studying English class. Okay, good, good, good. Uh -huh. And uh 
having problem with your connection. Okay, <laughs> good. Thank you, Patricia. You sometimes are so funny, Patricia. Excellent, excellent. So let's see. Um, Alba, what is Patricia doing right now? Um, Patricia uh, needs. Um, I, I am in English as a study. Ok, pero ¿cómo armamos la respuesta? Veamos cómo se arma la respuesta. A ver. Ok. Pa Patricia is. Patricia is. Is. Studying. Studying. English. English. Ok, now let's see. Mayra, what is. Uh, Alba, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What are, uh, I am in English in class. Great. Uh, pero como decimos el verbo en ING? Um, I am having. I am English class, right? English and, class. Okay, good. So, Mayra, what is Alba doing right now? Uh, she is uh, having uh, class English. An English class, okay. English. Okay, good. Roxana, what is Mayra, Mayra doing right now? Mayra is... Uh, studying English class. Excellent. Uh, yeah, it is okay. Studying an English class. Okay, good. Great. Okay, guys. Now, we were talking about the class, for example. Do you remember? Our class is... Um, what, we, what did we say? doing an exam or something like that, right? So uh, let's see here. If, si aquí se hubiera referido al equipo entero como una unidad hubiera dicho, our team is, right? Our team is ready, for example. Pero en este caso, cada uno se está preparando por su lado, ¿verdad? Por su lado. Entonces, They are getting. Pero miren, la pregunta no fue en plural, ¿verdad? La pregunta fue en singular, ¿verdad? What is our team doing right now? They are getting ready for the conference and the meeting room. They are arriving, right? They are arriving to the meeting room. No es que así entero, ta, 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 va el grupo completo y entraron y se sentaron como meterlos en una lata. No, right? One by one, right? One by one are uh, arriving, right? To the meeting room. So this is the idea we have to manage. Por el momento entendamos así. Cuando es como una unidad, our team, entonces decimos is. Pero cuando nos referimos a lo que hace cada individuo dentro del team, dentro del equipo, entonces es plural, ¿ok? They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Excellent. So, what time do you usually get to your workplace? Vemos que aquí ya no es presente continuo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, qué tiempo está usando acá, Ryan? What time do you usually get to your workplace? The present simple. Correct. The simple present. The simple present. Okay. ¿Cuándo entonces usamos el presente simple? Cuando hablamos de actividades que hacemos todo el tiempo, que son un hábito, o las actividades diarias, lo usamos Uh, para explicar nuestra rutina diaria, por ejemplo. 
o las cosas que ya están eh, definidas que todos los días va a ser igual. Ok, so it says, what time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? Ah, no le dice what's the first thing you are doing, ok, sino que usa el presente simple. Because they are activities from every day, a routine, ok. Y cuando responde, eh, responde esa pregunta, ¿qué tiempo verbal usa? Raúl. I usually arrived at six and a half a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you, okay? ¿Qué, qué tiempo es? Simple present. Simple present, okay? If you see up here, they are using, they are using present continuous for things that are happening at the time that they are talking or also they can use the present continuous to talk about things that they are going to do later than now, okay? To use it just for the present continuous. And also they mix in the conversation, the simple present. Okay, now let's go to the pair work here and let's discuss the following questions, okay? Uh, number one, you see who, gets earlier at the workplace? Who gets earlier at the workplace? Who gets earlier at the workplace? Let's read. Raul arrives at 6.30 a.m. What time does Ryan arrive to work? Seven or 7.30. Seven o'clock. Okay, who is at the workplace earlier? The most early is Raul. Okay, 6.30, right? Raul arrives at 6.30. Okay, aquí utilizamos esta palabra que es muy importante, que es un comparativo, más temprano. Okay, la palabra que conocemos es early, ¿verdad? Esa es nuestra palabra que hemos aprendido en nuestra time expression, early, correct? Yes. Pero para comparar y decir más temprano que el otro, ¿verdad? Decimos earlier, earlier. Okay. Comparing. Yes, comparing uh, the, two, the two times, right? Yes. Different yes. times. So yes. who gets earlier? Who it's gets other earlier? Verb. It's other verb form. No, this is not a verb. This is an adjective, okay? This is an adjective oh. and it's a comparative, okay? It's comparative. a comparative. Yes, Más adelante okay. vamos a ver la teoría de eso. Ahorita solo veamos el significado, okay? Más adelante ustedes van a aprender a hacer esas comparaciones y, y qué reglas se siguen para esas comparaciones, ¿verdad? Por lo menos ahorita podemos ver que En este adjetivo early, que es una time expression que aprendimos en la unit one, que, que mezclado hablé, I'm sorry guys. Okay, this is a time expression we learned in the unit one. So now just, we are just checking the meaning earlier. Okay, para no decir así Juan Diego cuando, eh, uh, yo creo que dijo como the most, right? The most early. Yes, the most, the most early. Okay, en este caso, uh, hay otra forma de decir eso, okay? Hay otra forma de decir eso que tendría que ser como the earliest, okay? Earliest. Eh, que viene precisamente okay. de esta palabra, most, ¿verdad? Pero como es una palabra corta, okay? Hay otra, ah, otra veces... forma de decirlo. Okay. Ah, muchas veces como que lo tomamos literal de, de nuestro lenguaje. Yes. Lo queremos pasar al inglés y muchas veces no pega. You're right, you're right. But we, um, we can take the chance, ¿ok? Podemos jugar esa, esa carta, ¿verdad? Porque muchas veces sí ayuda el lenguaje de nosotros, el idioma eh, español, como para 
mm, tratar de darnos a, a, a comprender. Y está bien que lo haga. Y así, si usted no empieza a usarlo como lo que, me acaba de, lo que le acaba de suceder, usted lo usó. Si, yo no, si usted no lo hubiera usado, nunca hubiera sacado esa duda. ¿Ok? Nunca hubiera yeah. aprendido esto nuevo. Entonces, mi consejo es que siempre, aunque la idea que usted tenga parezca, ¿verdad? Esperemos la explicación del que sí sabe en ese momento. ¿Ok? Y nos va a ayudar a enriquecer el vocabulario. ¿Ok? So, who gets earlier at the workplace? ¿Cómo contestamos eso? How do we answer that? How do we answer this? Who gets earlier at the workplace? Está en presente simple. ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo contestamos? Oh. Raúl is going earlier to work. Okay. Raúl. Es en presente simple, remember? Simple present. Ahí no usamos el to be verb. Okay. Raúl. Gets. Ajá. Uh -huh. Gets. Raúl gets earlier. Excellent. Raúl gets earlier. Then, aquí podemos usar esta palabra que significa que, ¿ok? Más temprano que y ponemos Ryan, Ryan. ¿ok? Raúl gets earlier than Ryan, ¿ok? Así lo contestaríamos. Pero para hacerlo más fácil, ¿ok? Para hacerlo mucho más fácil, podemos contestar así. Raúl, uh, perdón, que en English we don't have tilde, right? Raúl does, ¿ok? Y ahí se acaba. Raúl does. It's okay. like Raúl lo hace. Sí, es como que nosotros diríamos eh, en español, volviendo a la comparación. Who gets, uh, yo le pregunto, hey, mira, ¿y quién llega más temprano? ¿Vos, ¿El Raúl o el Ryan? Entonces el viene Raúl. este, ajá, el eh, Raúl, vos, ok, something like that, <ríe> yeah, Raúl does, ok, 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 there you go, so, the next one, aquí, uh, se entendió que podemos hacer cualquiera de esas dos respuestas, did you get that, everyone, you can answer with the complete, answer with a complete sentence or you can just say Raul does okay so number two what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference mm -hmm. what do you think these are ideas okay I don't remember that uh, uh, Raul said a topic okay A video conference. Yes, it's a video conference. Uh huh. Okay, but what is the topic? Um, what is the topic? Do you that you think that Raúl is going to discuss in the conference? What do you think what, is the topic? What time to take the video conference? The team is getting ready. Remember. The team is getting ready. But this, um, he said, I am planning, okay, I am planning uh -huh, a video mm -hmm. conference. Who with? With the new team, right? Is it correct? Vamos allá y leemos, okay? Let's go over there and let's read. It says, <clears throat> I am planning a video conference. Y Ryan viene y le dice, oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Okay. 
No hay un tema, right? I don't see a topic. Do you see a topic? Don't have, don't have a topic. Just Do telling he, he playing in a video conference, but then ref, don't have reference about the topic. Okay, but what do you think if the questions are those like, what time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do? And those kind of questions can give us um, an idea, right? Let's pick an idea, everyone. Do you have any idea? I want to hear ideas. What do you... Okay, remember that is with the new team, right? Yes, it's with the new team. So they are, maybe they are going to talk about the, the schedule, right? Oh, schedule. The schedule, it's missing a letter C here. Oh, oh good, there we are. Okay, the schedule, probably, right? Maybe the schedule. And what is the schedule? The schedules are, I'm sorry, the schedule has time and activities. Okay, schedule, time, time and activities, <clears throat> right? Are we okay? What do you think? What do you think, Alba? What do you think, Delmi? What do you think, Roxana? Luz Veronica, what do you think? Patricia? Teacher, I think, uh, for example, no topic. Uh, okay. They are discrete activities, nothing. Okay, so in that case, you said, uh -huh. there is no topic in the conversation, uh-huh, in the conversation. Is that correct? Yes, sure. Okay, uh, but we are discussing and taking ideas, right, according to, uh, according with the questions that Raul and Ryan are talking, right, in their conversation. That is what we said about the schedule, time, and activities. It could be, right? It could be. Podría ser, right? Yes. Or could be that they are talking about salary. Okay. Salary, salary could be because it's the new team, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Salary... Interview then we could say work perks. Do you remember this? Salary, salary and work perks. Do you remember that? Perks. Yes. No, teacher. The job benefits. Oh, yes. Yeah. For example, business? Yes, it could be about business. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So, ¿Cómo contestaríamos esta uh, respuesta como en una oración? What is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? Okay, we could say this, there is no topic in the conversation, right? We could start with this. I cannot move it. Can I? No, I cannot move it. Okay, there is no topic in the conversation. Lo podríamos decir al principio, como nos sugirió Patty. Okay, Patricia, I'm sorry. And uh, may I call you Patty? Or do you, how do you, I uh, mean, what do you like to be called? ¿Cómo le gusta que le diga? Okay, then, Patty. Uh, I prefer to call you Patty uh, more friendly, right? <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, because es que yo tenía una amiga muy linda, ella también, y le decíamos Patty, Patty, right? Y entonces todo el tiempo yo recordaba que su mamá, siempre que oigo Patricia me recuerdo mucho de ella, 
y su mamá, Patricia, ay, and I said, ay, why, ¿por qué la están regañando? Right? O, o San Patricia cuando lo regañen a un... They are un angry. Serio, yes. Ese es Patricia hasta los jefes. Patricia es... Te voy a regañar, ¿eh? Okay, they are calling your attention. Hey, Patricia, yeah. come here, right? Yeah, don't do that. Mm, correct. So I like uh, to call you better Patty, okay? Okay, okay Patty. Patty said and suggested that there is no topic in the conversation. Nestor said, for example, uh, well, maybe they are going to talk about the salary work perks, right? Uh, then we could say, mm, uh huh. Okay, so they, or he in this case, right? Because it's Raul, he is discussing, okay, discussing some topics uh, related to the new team activities and time, okay? Or we could say schedule activities. Scheduled activities, okay? Ahí ya armamos un parrafito, miren, con todas las ideas que nos dieron acá, okay? Vimos que era con el nuevo equipo, vimos que estaban ellos okay. primero platicando de actividades y de la hora, en qué se hacían las actividades, a qué horas entran, ok. Eh, también podrían haber hablado de salary work perks related to the team, the new team, right? And business, Teacher. right? Teacher. Tell me. Um, just a question. Um, when you're reading the question, that um que gua, que cuál es el tema de Raúl y su equipo uh, que discuten en la conferencia o algo así lo entiendo ok en español viene siendo así mire dice cuál es el tema que Raúl y su equipo discuten o discutirán en la conferencia ok ajá uh -huh. Como es un presente eh, continuo, refiriéndose a el momento de la conferencia, later than uh, they are talking, ¿verdad? Entonces usamos el presente continuo y le ponemos, eh, cuando, lo, cuando lo traducimos, tiene que ser a futuro, ¿verdad? Puede ser, van a tratar, van a discutir o discutirán, ¿ok? En el futuro. The future, el futuro lo hace in the conference. Yes, yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. well, it's discussing, are discussing. Are discussing, yes. But uh, to understand it, as Nestor said, in the conference is uh, that they are locating because or placing. Mm -hmm. Is the future. Yes, but, uh, o sea, lo voy a decir en español. Miren, para que nosotros diferenciemos el presente continuo cuando se refiere a las cosas que están pasando cuando estamos hablando y las cosas que se refieren a un futuro cercano después de, de este momento en que yo estoy hablando. Entonces tenemos que ver cuál, cómo diferenciar esos dos. Ayer decíamos y ahora hemos visto que utilizamos las time expressions o las expresiones de tiempo. Pueden ser también expresiones de lugar, ¿verdad? Eh, pero la cuestión es ubicar al que lo escucha, ¿verdad? ubicar a su contraparte en la, en la conversación en el tiempo que esto va a suceder o sucede, ¿verdad? O está sucediendo. Entonces ahí si se fijan ya tenemos tres tiempos. Entonces, en este caso, in the conference, como eso va a ser después de esa conversación, entonces es a future, ¿ok? Es the future. Allá decía, what are you doing right now? Right now means, excuse me, Nestor, go ahead. It's, go, it's, it's like when you see uh, some colleague at the meeting and you ask him about the, the the conference, but later on, uh, one hour or 
30 minutes later on the the conference the uh, they will have the conference okay yes correct mm -hmm. yes That's because they yes correct maybe they are in the office right ryan and raul are in the in the office and they are talking about their activities and they are talking yes, about yeah. the new team thing okay so, so it's the future but later on later than the conversation okay yes 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 later on the conversation correct correct so now let's go uh forward let's move forward to page uh 33 right to page 33 let me erase uh Yo siempre digo erase porque este para mí es una pizarra, okay? But we are talking about um, technological gadgets and devices here. So I got to say delete, okay? So let me delete <laughs> these drawings. One second. Por eso digo erase. Erase es la acción de borrar, ¿verdad? O en el cuaderno o en la pizarra. So this is my board. The screen is my board. Okay, I can use both. So now we are going to see the difference. This is the difference between the use of the simple present for general information or routine activities. And also we are going to see the use of the present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Okay, so let's see here these examples and let's look at these other examples okay i will give you 30 seconds and please read this information okay i want to see your lips moving Okay, todos leyendo. I want to see your lips moving. Quiero ver sus labios moviéndose. Teacher. Tell me. Ongoing is continuing. Yes, things that are happening. Yes. Okay. Teacher four, they are okay. Como? Number four in this site, it says they arrange. They arrange okay. meetings, arreglan, or organize, right? Something like organize. Arrange. Okay, gracias. Marco, could you please read this side? This. Okay. This, uh, this. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. We use simple present for general information, routine activities. Okay. Can I you read my the e examples? Okay. Okay. I check my email every morning. Number two, he writes a report about meeting. Number three, she audits inventories. Number four, they arrange meetings. Okay. meetings. Thank you very much. Now, please, um, Luz, can you please read the other part, the next part? 
I am planning a video conference. From uh, up, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, from up here. From here. We use present continuous for going action at the time of speaking. I am planning a video conference. They are reading the documents ready. She is eating the information. The secretary is making a, a phone call. Okay, thank you very much. So we have for general information or routine activities and then ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Okay, two different usages. Okay, so um, it's almost 10, guys. It's almost 10. Pero, um, yes, we have only two minutes. It's too short to do the complete activity. Okay. En su tarea, ustedes tienen que hacer la diferencia. Si es presente simple o si es eh, presente continuo. ¿Ok? Eso lo hacemos de diferencia para que veamos los tres tiempos. El presente, el presente continuo y el... Um, a ver, el presente continuo, el simple present, y el future, el presente continuo para future events, ok, for future events. Ok, guys, I think this is the last thing. En la agenda solo me quedó una cosa, que no la hicimos ahora, así que la haremos el día de mañana, es escribir un email, ok, la haremos, no, mañana es sábado, so, we are writing an email on Monday, okay? We are writing an email next Monday and we are going to do it describing our activities for these and for the next week, okay? In that case, on Mondays, it will be that week and the next week, okay? So please think about your activities and think about the things in the future or scheduled activities, okay? So guys, let me take the attendance for the third time. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Perez Fideos. Present, teacher. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present, teacher. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Uh, Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Present teacher. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present teacher. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Present. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok, good. Thank you very much. Ok, just let me share with you the last thing that I want you to see, please. It's about the email, okay? Just let me go there. working here. Okay. Here we go. Es nada más para que vean cómo lo vamos a hacer the next Monday. Okay? Like this. Look. Así que es como una captura de pantalla. 
fotografía. Y también lo vamos a hacer enviándolo, eh, eso sería después del día lunes, el día martes, vamos a intercambiar emails para que nos enviemos información de una manera eh, real, ¿ok? En a real way. But así en, en ensayando o practicando lo haremos de esta manera, ¿ok? Ahí teníamos a Ado Villeda. Uh, J.D. López from RH, uh, I'm sorry, from HR, and Diego, right? No, it is D. Hernandez, and so on, right? David Hernandez. Okay, guys, we are going to do this activity for next. Esa fue la que se nos quedó nada más. Okay, guys. Luz Verónica eh, se queda, right? Today is your turn. And have a happy weekend. Okay, God bless you all. Thanks, teacher. You too. Thank you, teacher. You too. Enjoy Thanks. your week. Thank yeah. you, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Hello, Luz, how are you doing? Hello. How are you doing? How can I help you? Do you have any question? Hola. Hello. No tengo preguntas. Don't you have any question? Ok. Um, quisiera practicar algo. Tiene algo que quisiera hacer. Estos son sus 10 minutos. Sí, de gloria. Es que ando un gran dolor de cuello y oh. mejor uh -huh, ando oh. estresada. Sí, así la veo un poco indispuesta el día de hoy. Así la noto. Pero ya tomó algo. Sí, ahorita antes de acostar voy a tomar algo. Ok, ok. Sí, relájese, relájese que las cosas se quedan. Usted tiene que estar bien, ¿verdad? Para su trabajo y para su familia, niña. Así que cuídese mucho. Sí. Ok, then take care. Take care. Have a good night and have a good rest, Luz. Ok, bye. Ok, bye bye.